because I'm going to do a sort of all day wear on a new product. This is the Revolution CC Cream Perfecting Foundation which I saw on quite a few people's Instagram and YouTube accounts and thought I would give it a go myself because I am currently using a Lacura CC Cream. This is like my everyday go-to. I don't wear a heavy foundation and it's almost out. So I was on the lookout for a new one because the problem with Aldi products is that they're only there for a limited amount of time. So if it's a product that they bring back, you can pick it up again. If not, then you just don't get it again. So I was on the lookout for a new CC cream. I was really, really tempted by the It Cosmetics, which always, always, always gets rave reviews. However, it's about 32 quid for a tube, which when you're on a budget and I'm desperately trying to not overspend on things like makeup and skincare, then it's a little bit pricey. I have seen it on offer at the moment, so I might pick it up and then I could do sort of a compare and contrast because obviously I haven't tried that one. But I thought I would pick this up and see what it was like. I picked up two shades. As you can see from the box, the shade colours look very different considering there's only like half a shade in it. One's F point f2.5 one's f3 and i saw f3 and thought wowzers that's dark but when you actually get the tube out it is nothing like the color on the tube at all so really quite strange <laughs> um so you could really get your color shade wrong and buying offline which is how we're having to do it at the moment that's the difficulty so that's the difference in the shade i would say one's a bit more i don't know whether you can pick it up in this light one's a bit warmer toned one's a bit of a cooler toned um i'm not sure which is going to work for me at the moment i might have to sort of mix and match the two i usually go for a similar color to this one which now that it's out of the box, oh, it has, it's got it on the lid. The F3, I think, is closer to the colour that I normally go for. It's got more of a pinky undertone. This is more of a yellowy. I'm not sure that's going to suit me. I might have to mix and match them. These were £10 each. I think when I picked them up from Superdrug a while ago, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, they were doing a deal where you got one, bought one, buy one, get one half price or something like that. So I picked up two to try and get a good shade match. Like I say, this is the one that I've been currently using. It's the Lacura. I think this was about £3.50. So, so much cheaper. Maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe around fiver. But so, so much cheaper. And it's lasted me ages. I've done my normal skincare this morning. Um, the only thing I've done differently, which I'm now regretting, is I had a sample of a new facial sunscreen to try. So, I couldn't wait to put it on. And it just absolutely pilled as soon as I put it on and I tried to moisturise it in, it was the Salty Skincare, um, which I'm really upset about because I'm always on the lookout for a really good facial SPF. So if you've got any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Because I find sun cream on my, on my face really greasy and oily and I hate it. But I do want to wear an SPF every day. I don't trust that there's enough SPF in makeup or in a moisturiser to necessarily do the same job. So I like a separate SPF. And this one sounded amazing because it's vegan friendly, cruelty free, paraben free. It's suitable for sensitive skin. It just sounded like it was going to tick all the boxes. And like I say, I did all my normal skincare. I left a massive gap between putting my skincare on and then putting my SPF on. And it just like pilled straight away. So I'm a bit gutted. So hopefully that's not going to affect how my makeup goes on. But we'll get into it anyway. I'll just put my ears on. Keep my hair out of the way because I have freshly washed my hair. So that will be all over my face. Otherwise, put my little panda ears on. And then I'm just going to start off with a little bit of primer. Again, I'm kind of going off primer, but I'm just trying to use up what I've got. Just don't think it's very necessary. Currently using the Avent Pro Collagen, which was in a beauty box because Avent is super expensive and I would never buy it otherwise. Um, their night cream was amazing. But I think it retails for about 100 quid. And yeah, I don't have 100 quid to spend on <laughs> a night cream, however amazing it is. So I'm just going to let that sit in for a bit. 
and my shopping has just arrived almost an hour earlier than planned so I'll be right back okay so I'm back so at least the shopping coming mid routine has given my uh, advent primer time to settle in so hopefully fingers crossed that shouldn't cause any problems with any products pilling or anything um I've brought you in a bit closer as well apologies it's not the best look uh, just so that you can sort of see that I have got a few imperfections I've had a few breakouts recently I think just hormonal and probably stress related so I've still got a little bit of um, a few little marks from that obviously aging my horrendous under eye area but I've also got quite a lot of redness on the sides of my face I'm not sure if that's actually picking up on camera but that's why I use a CC cream rather than just a foundation because I like to try and colour correct and get more even skin tone so I'm gonna do one half of my face with a beauty blender sponge and one half with a brush foundation brush I always always used to use a brush to do my foundation I hate all oh, my CC cream I hated using a blender and then recently started using a beauty blender I think because my brush was filthy and needed cleaning and I thought right I'll just use my beauty blender and I actually really preferred the way that it applied I think you do end up using more product when you use a beauty blender and I do like being able to sort of buff in with my brush so I sometimes do go over with this um, buffing brush afterwards just because I like a really clean finish it might be a bit extra I don't know so I'll apply one half with a brush one half with a sponge because I find as well that some products do apply better with one or the other you sometimes get better results with a sponge sometimes with a brush so it's always best to try both if you think a product isn't working for you it might just be the way that it's being applied right so on reflection I think I'm gonna go for the F3 because I think that might work better for me I'm just gonna take a pump one pump on the back of my hand I do like that it's in a pump so I've just put one pump on and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and do this half of my face. Apologies for the lighting. Um, I'm sat right by my window. This isn't usually where I apply my makeup either. I usually apply my makeup downstairs, but with three kids around, um, I don't think you would enjoy the experience quite so much. It is a little bit quieter being in my bedroom and doing this and if I'm looking to the side it's because I'm looking in the mirror because I cannot do my makeup in a viewfinder just impossible anyone who can do that is some sort of magician so I don't like a very heavy coverage foundation so if that's your thing um this may not be the review for you but from reading the packaging it does say full coverage so what I'm hoping to do is just do a really light coverage um, and then it may not be so full but I mean I'm not getting full coverage vibes from this this isn't what I think of when I think full coverage I've literally just put the tiniest amount on really I mean that was one one pump and I've still got loads there I reckon I could probably use one pump to do a whole face on a normal day I am going to put a little bit more on than usual just so that I can see properly um, I've heard mixed reviews about this so I bought it off the back of one review which is a stupid thing to do really but um, I was at that stage where I was definitely impulse buying and although I did need a new CC cream fairly soon um, I, I literally was in a spendy mood and was definitely doing the whole comfort shopping thing so bought it off the back of one person saying it was a brilliant brilliant product that was Lady Rights if you don't watch her or follow her channel um, she got these as PR 
and really rated them and compared them to it cosmetics and thought they were great and then I watched a couple of other reviews after I'd ordered them and people weren't so impressed so we'll see I mean I think that's a pretty good color match I'm not sure how again the lighting is awful so I'm not sure how well I'm just going to try and pull the curtain a bit more I'm not sure how well you can pick that up um but it's done a pretty good job like I say, I don't like a heavy coverage, so I just want something really to even out, take a little bit of the redness out, which I feel that this has done. Um, it's gone on really nice with the blender, actually. I'm quite pleased with how it's looking. Um, it's a little bit matte, not completely matte. I'm not sure what it says on the packaging now, whether it is matte. Moisture rich, high pigment, yet light, moisturising foundation. Um, doesn't say matte. Um yeah it's definitely not full matte it has got a little bit of a glow about it which i prefer i like a glow rather than a full matte so i'm going to just now take my brush and i'm going to scrape up the rest on this side um i'm definitely going to need some more though i reckon if i'd have just done a full pump it into my brush i could have probably done my whole face but like i say i always find that the beauty blender takes up a little bit more product than my brush so I've just squirted a little bit more onto my brush and I'm just going to dab that on first and then we'll blend it out. Wow, so using a brush, I definitely think I'm getting more coverage. Uh, that may have been a little bit too much product. But we'll, we'll try and make it work. Uh, First impressions is that I probably use a beauty blender for this unless I wanted really high coverage. So if I was obviously going for a night out or an event, um, then maybe go with a brush because I definitely feel like that's covered a lot more using a brush than the beauty blender. I think it's definitely a pretty good colour match it's um like I say I do normally go for that sort of pinky undertone just because I find it warms my skin up a little bit um I don't like the yellowy undertone I just don't think it suits me yeah that's definitely got some coverage to it more than I'm probably used to I do kind of like my imperfection showing through I've got freckles I like it to look very natural um, I'm not sure how I feel about the side with the brush. I'm just going to buff it out a bit more. It just feels a bit heavy for me, but that's, again, personal preference. I wouldn't say full coverage, though. I would say maybe it's buildable, buildable full, but I've got a little bit on my face. I think it's probably more of a medium to light coverage but still pretty full for me because I'm used to a CC cream and not a foundation and this is a CC foundation I suppose so um yeah okay so that's again lighting is appalling apologies so that is how my skin is looking you can still see my freckles, you can still see all my fine lines. Obviously, I haven't put any concealer on yet, but I feel like that's done a pretty good job of covering up some little imperfections that I had. It's definitely evened out the skin tone. A lot of the redness is gone now. I don't feel like I would have to colour correct before using this, which I do find sometimes with the Lacura one. I do have to put some colour corrector on before I use it, and it is supposed to be a CC cream, so you shouldn't really have to do that um overall i think it's okay i've got a little bit of pill in there by my hairline again i think it's that sun cream i don't think that's going to be the one for me okay so i'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then i will check in throughout the day and let you know what i think so i am just going to do what i would normally do i am going to use some concealer i have the um, Maybelline eraser one for under my eyes then I've got 
this has literally got nothing left on it it's that old this is the last imperfection and i've got the Lecura concealer pen which is more like the um ysl touche clart i am gonna set with some powder because it is looking a little bit too shiny but i will probably just set my t-zone and a little bit under my eyes i'm gonna put on my brows just normal bog standard um brow pencil this is natural collection i will put on some blush i'm going to use gold rush by benefit and then a little bit of highlighter i'm still trying to get the last few drags out of this which is the cla or clay essence moonlight cushion highlighter absolute fave definitely definitely going to look to repurchase that and then just some mascara so i've got the legendary lashes charlotte tilbury volume two um little mini that i picked up on feel unique but i think that's nearly gone so i've got the liqueur out to legit if that has vanished so i shall see you later when i've got a full face and we'll see how it looks and there we have it there's my makeup finished i have actually um gone all out and put some eyeshadow on i mean who even am i i've also just finished off with this pixie by petra lip balm in natural rose really loving that because it's a nice nourishing lip balm but also it just gives you that little pop of color i'm actually really pleased with how the um revolution for cc foundation is looking it looks really natural it's given me a little bit of coverage it has evened out my skin tone it was looking a little bit oily greasy to start with i just set here set down my nose set my chin and my lower cheeks which i would do normally anyway i normally don't bother setting here put a little bit of powder under my under eyes as well to try and help set those but that's nothing unusual that i wouldn't do with my normal routine my normal makeup routine so and i do feel like that's left it looking a little bit better it has um just set it down a little bit but it still looks a little bit glowy um i've only put highlighter here and then on my cupid's bow so i haven't put highlighter anywhere around my brows or my forehead and i do feel like it still looks quite glowy so we'll see we'll see how it goes um i'm quite happy with the color match it's not showing up on screen very well it's quite bright but in uh, my mirror when i'm looking it looks like a little bit of a tan which is kind of what i want for summer just a little bit of color without looking unnatural um so yeah quite pleased with the color match although it's really hard to color match off the website and even off the boxes just doesn't look anything like when i picked my colors i actually watched lady wright's um video and she swatched all of the colors on her arm so you got a better idea then of what they were going to look like. Anywho, I'm going to go about my day-to-day -day life. It's a Sunday, so that means cleaning. I may do a bit more in the way of videos. I might try and do some more videos. But yeah, mainly cleaning, cooking, usual day-to-day -day chores. Um, I will check in later. It is now 10 past 10. So I will check in later and we'll see how this is holding up. Does it say how long it's meant to last? Whether it's got any claims? Nothing on there about whether it should be like 12 hour or 24 hour, whatever they say, lasting. Um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Hello, hello. I thought I would check in and show you the makeup. I have been decluttering my wardrobe, which I'm sure you'll see that video as well. Um, it's now what time is it now quarter past 12 so it's been a few hours and it's looking okay um i don't know if it's just me whether you're going to be able to see if i try and zoom you in a little bit it seems to be picking up some like texture around here which honestly i've not noticed that i've had before um <laughs> yeah a bit weird how it's sort of settled here i mean from afar you wouldn't see it um so is it that much of a big deal possibly not because who's going to get that close to sort of notice it but when i that's what i sort of picked up when i looked at it closely in the mirror was that it was just sort of it sort of clung here 
it's a light texture that I didn't even realise I had which is always nice you know to find new floors but I mean overall it's still looking okay it's um not looking too matte or too oily the only other thing I've noticed is that like around near my hairline it seems to have maybe oxidised a little bit and changed colour possibly just me being picky again I don't think it's anything major so far it's okay I don't feel like I've totally wasted my money yet and I think I may be able to use this product so we'll see I mean as for the texture maybe if I just used a sort of pore um pore perfecting primer beforehand that might eradicate that so if I use something like Benefits Pore Professional or something along those lines maybe that would help with this weird texture which I didn't know I had so anyway I'm gonna crack on I'm gonna go and do some lunch for the kids and we'll see you in a few hours and see how it looks then good afternoon it's now quarter to five so this has been on for quite a while now and I mean I'll zoom you in I don't think it's looking too bad obviously it's looking a bit more glowy shall we say a bit more oily and I am a terrible face toucher so I expect always to get a little bit of wear around here where I'm constantly like hmm 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 I am terrible at face touching um but I don't know whether other people are expecting more of it than I am but I don't think it's terrible I've still got a little bit of coverage um it obviously like I say it has worn off where I've been touching um still a bit weird where I said earlier about the texture but generally, I'll zoom you back out, no one needs to be that close to my face. Generally, it's okay. I think, you know, if I was out, if I was at work, I would probably powder down my T-zone and it would be probably okay. I mean, I have to say, it's... Little ginger girl there, just trying to squeeze into the shot because we're about to watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but um i don't think it's any worse than my usual cc cream i was worried after i watched other people's reviews that i was going to be really disappointed and i don't actually think it's as bad maybe they were expecting more of a foundation than a cc cream but generally i think it's okay so yeah I mean, maybe a proper test will be when everything is back to normal and I'm out and I'm at work and I've gone like a full day in the office and not just at home. But I'm okay with it. I'm happy. I'm glad it hasn't been a total fail because otherwise that would have been a waste of money. But generally, I think it's okay. So I'll try and check in again before I wash it all off. And let you know what I think. Um, I'm not going to powder it down or anything. I'm not going to do anything else to it. So we'll see how it goes. Hi guys. This is the last check-in of the day. Because I am desperate to get my makeup off. I haven't been wearing makeup hardly at all. Literally like a little bit during lockdown. So this has been like almost like a full face for me. Which... Yeah, I need to get it off my face. So, it is now 20 to 7. So, I think from putting it on, that's pretty much almost a full day. Um, and considering I haven't powdered, I haven't touched up, and like I said earlier, I am a massive face toucher. I don't think it's done too badly. Um, I mean, it's very, very shiny. But again, like I said, I think you can sort that out with powder. Um, maybe lost a little bit of coverage during the day, but I didn't put super amount on to start with. So you can start to see now, like my blemishes, my redness has come through a little bit, although it is quite warm as well today. So yeah, I mean, got a gate crasher again. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. I suppose I need to wear it a bit more to see whether I really really like it <laughs> the joys of children hey um but i'm glad it's not a total fail because then i would have been really gutted that i'd wasted my money i think maybe the people who were disappointed with it 
<laughs> I'm expecting more of a foundation and less of a CC cream and for me that works because I'm not expecting a full coverage foundation. I suppose if you bought it hoping that it would be a full coverage foundation with the benefits of a CC cream in, it's probably not going to be for you. So I'm going to keep wearing it. I'm sure you'll be hearing about it again in either another makeup video or in one of my empties videos. So yeah, this was a new one for me. I did get asked when I showed it in my um, beauty haul if I would do a review. So here it is. <laughs> That's my full day review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you join us and I'll see you for another video very, very soon. Thanks guys. Bye.